God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. He is precious. He is amazing. He is the word. <laughs> he became the word. He became our sacrifice for us to make the way to the Father. He, how amazing is this. Right, please stay with me. Wisdom, um, Proverbs. Uh, I wanted to speak about, deliver this message by the mercy of God. And um, Proverbs uh, chapter 3 verse 6 teach us this. And please share so other let, uh, that it uh, teaching and uh, blessing for you that it benefits you. So you can more connect with the Lord himself, Jesus. And if you have a lack of, about knowledge, or if you have knowledge from the word, and we have no understanding in our relationship with Jesus, we can't uh, live out what the Lord uh, wants from us. Uh, we don't live for ourselves, we live by the will of God to do the right thing. Right. In all thy ways acknowledge him. That is not an easy one, uh, but um, if we receive the spirit of life, the spirit, the living law in our hearts, it's Romans, and I want to read it, so uh, it bless you. And Romans 8, right, it's a very key uh, first for this one. And it speaks about the uh, and principle and also of course more of it. therefore is no therefore now no combination to which are in Christ Jesus you are dead on your own ways by your baptism in water and by giving your life to Christ and now you walk not after the flesh your will your own desires your lust but after their spirit. Therefore, there is now no condemnation. You are free from condemnation. And if the devil comes, it's not coming from you anymore, from the flesh. If you are dead on the flesh, if you have renewed your mind, then you are in the, to them which are in Christ. If you are uh, have a lot of condemnation in, you, in yourself you are not in Christ who we'll walk not after flesh but after the spirit listen this is my key uh, what I want to share with you to benefit you 2 Romans 8 verse 2 for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death that means if the spirit is in you then the law of life, the living spirit, the living law is in my heart, is in me. And live out a life what God desires for him to do. And that is very key. That if you are in all your way, acknowledge him. is not possible to do it for yourself. You need the spirit of God to work this out in you. And he saw, directed their paths. Huh? Proverbs 3 verse 6. That is very key. Not, not by your own of efforts, to your own strength, your own power, but the Spirit of God can work this out in you. So you must obey Him. You know, you must know the commandments, what He asks, and instructions, what the Lord gives you to do. And you must build up a heart treasure, and your heart treasure is your mind. And from your heart, mind, can the spirit speak to you, and you can also put information out your heart, treasure your mind to speak by empowered by the spirit of God. That makes your path right. Right. Please share this message so many times, and let it be a benefit for others also. And that the Lord keep you and bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.